So who is RKY Careers? You know, RKY Careers is a tech-driven company. We are here to support, you know, international professionals, local professionals to achieve their career dreams and their career goals. We've worked with thousands of individuals. We've had, you know, in the last 12 months, we have a good number of success stories, over 500 plus of people who have, you know, engaged our services, enrolled in our boot camps and are now thriving in industry right so what are our training offers we have trainings across data analysis projects management business analysis scrum master product owner you know microsoft excel and bootcamp the goal is to help you know immigrants professionals you know to actually not settle for less you know leave fulfilling lives even in diaspora even outside of their comfort zone so we also have standalone services like the cv optimization linkedin optimization career advisory and mapping professional portfolio interview preparation as well so today we are here to learn about everything related to like compliance you know especially in the uk space because compliance is one of the fields that can be quite jurisdictional right so um what is compliance right compliance is an essential aspect you know for businesses for governments across different jurisdiction right just as the name implies compliance is ensuring that operations activities tasks are done within the bounds of specified communicated laws and the regulations are also being adhered to and that this meets ethical and industry standards right so compliance is um Thank you. Compliance is a multifaceted concept, right? That involves just adhering to rules and regulations, to be honest. It's all about adhering to rules. So the rules can now be different from industry, from um, jurisdiction, you know, as well. So, what does compliance entail? So, we have compliance across a wide range of, um, you know, different aspects you know we have financial regulations data protection anti-money laundering gdpr and more so what that means is that you know and that is why a lot of people who go through our compliance boots can get jobs across different areas of compliance for instance you know you could actually um enhance your skills with the boot camp to get jobs in the legal industry in financial institutions you know data protection related as well so what are the essentials for the compliance industry you know getting into the compliance field requires a combination of skills practical experience you know as well as um, willingness to learn and you know to learn as well in the field so um one of the key things that is important to you know know and understand is you know you need to understand the regulations the industry you need to have industry knowledge right so if it's like related to banking you need to have very good understanding of banking processes what are the you know what's what are the compliance requirements in the banking industry what are those things that needs to be done according what are the laws that guide banking activities you know we have the likes of you know um anti-money laundry we have um kyc you know we have data related laws that we need to comply with you know and that's why compliance professionals will continue to be in demand you know so long as we continue to have regulations you know our financial industry legal industry all these industries you know the health and care industry insurance industry property industry there are industries that are highly regulated and you know because of this they would would continue to have you know demand for compliance professional you know so we need to familiarize you know ourselves you know with the framework right which includes the fca the icu and other frameworks as well you know you need to continue to like train and educate continuous improvement you need to be someone who is adaptable you need to you need to like um be someone who is hungry to learn to read to like you know to want to get better you know i mean you need to get um acquainted with data protection and privacy 
measures, you know, and you need to understand financial compliance as well. So what are the, some of the skills that are required in the compliance industry? You know, we've got very good documentation and record keeping, you know, risk assessments. You need to learn, I mean, know about the GDPR, data protection, continuous improvement, financial sanctions. You need to have analytical skills, KYC, AML. You need to have industry knowledge, which would differ depending on the industry you are interested in exploring as well. So what are the potential career paths of a career in compliance industry and what are the roles that possible roles you can apply for so we've got kyc compliance analyst risk manager financial crime analyst sanctions officer aml compliance analyst and you can see that you know all these have you know relatively good um average salaries this is um i think this is from read.co.uk i believe you know so you can see that it's a career path where you know you are not limited you could start today as a client on body specialist there's no limiting where you get to tomorrow we have people who have gone through our boot camp and are earning you know a thousand a day you know in managerial positions as well so there's no limits to you can start i mean not not to say that you know depending on the background experience you also have you have a lot of compliance professionals who probably have um experience outside of the uk or people who you know are well experienced or people who don't even have experience at all as well you know who want to explore you know a career in this field as well so the opportunities actually abound so why should you pursue a career in compliance kyc aml financial crime and the likes you know is highly in demand there's high demand for com compliance professionals as long as we continue to get you know um as long as we continue to have rules and regulations right there would always be need for prof um, compliance professionals having said this right i would ask you know I know it's. Uh, I promise that this was going to be an interactive session, right? Dif depend based on the different industries that you have all said you are coming from or working in. Can you? I want to know how aware we are, right? What in the, Who is your regulator in the industry? Just mention the regulator of your industry in the chat box. So if you said you are a health and care person, right? Who is your regulator? Who are? Who is your regulator based on your industry? I want to see if we even know or if we are following at all. Let's drop our responses in the chat box. So who do you think a regulator is based on the industry you operate in? It's okay. There's no right or wrong answer. You know. Bank of England. Interesting. Thank you, Jumoke. I believe you would be working in the bank. CQC. Thank you so much, Odafi. I want more. I want more. I'm Oliver Twist. I want more. <laughs> I see a lot of typing. DWP slash home office. Thank you, Ibtizam. Thank you, Ibtizam. Central Bank of Bahrain. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, I'm not sure we got your introduction. Where are you joining us from? CBN. Thank you. That's Nigeria. CQC. Olubusaya. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ayobami Information Commission Officer. So I want, I love, I love how interactive this class is. You know, it shows that, you know, we all understand. So one thing I want to now say is that I'm sure because you know you have regulators as well, you will know there are rules, right? And if there are rules, there are definitely somebody who has to be in place. Okay. So I'm from Bahrain, but I'm current, I, but I currently live in Bahrain. I believe I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, please forgive me. Temi Tokmehana, FCA Companies House. Thank you as well. We've got quite knowledgeable people in the house and I'm super excited about that. You know, so what I, what I was explaining is that, you know, so long as we know that there are rules, I'm sure that we can also easily point out one rule that, you know, we've said, you know, is... Um, we are bound by rights. So, so long as there are rules that guides the industry we operate in, there would always be people that should monitor those rules because there would always be sanctions. There would always be fines. There would always be penalty, you know, that's, you know, um, that would, um, 
we would attract right if we are found wanting in the area of this and that's why compliance professionals would always be required right when i say compliance professionals i don't necessarily mean the title compliance officer or compliance analyst in itself but there are a wide range of roles that all they're also doing you know is ensuring adherence to these different rules thank you for that contribution uh so let's proceed so there's high demand for compliance professionals this career stability because there's a career progression there's a wide range of roles you could start from customer i saw a lot of customer service in very good institutions which you know which is actually a good starting point for you to start your compliance profession you know you could start as a customer service at the bank today you know you get experience from that industry you know you get experience as well from the boot camp you put this together tomorrow you're a compliance analyst next tomorrow you are you know compliance um, clients do diligence specialist next tomorrow you are a, a manati money laundry manager or compliance manager and after that you're an mlro there's no limit to what in fact you could decide in in between that you know what there's a specialty i want to focus on right and you know there's no limit to where you know you there's career progression right and that gives career stability as well diverse career opportunities i've also said this there's a wide range of opportunities you can explore across industry in the finance in healthcare in environmental or data protection compliance as well you know i've had a lot of our alumni is getting roles across a wide range of roles to be honest from the properties industry to legal firms you know to insurance companies to you know lots of firms really so which is a good one right so global relevance of course because there are different jurisdictional rules because there are rules across and regulations across different there would always be global relevance compliance is required regardless of the country you go to their compliance officers their kyc officers so long as we are dealing with customers so long as we are, there will be client onboarding officers right so as long so long as we have all this you know um businesses in place in these jurisdictions you would always there was there always be a demand for this um role right professional growth there's no limits to also you know how far you can go as well you know you might need to like you know take additional courses at some point you know there's no limits to be honest global regulatory trends the uk often aligns its regulations with international standards this means that professionals in the uk compliance field can be well prepared to work on international compliance issue you know what this means is that you know if you are trained in compliance in the uk you know there's no limit to you could change location tomorrow and all you need to do is just a brush a little brush you know you could be in the usa you know we have quite a number of people that have joined from canada as well you could be in any location and all you need to do is just to brush up right and you are good to Cool. So that brings me to introducing you to the RKY Careers Bootcamp. You know, I haven't heard about the compliance industry, the career prospects, the demand for the role, right? I mean, where does RKY come? How can we help you achieve your compliance dream? Right. So the compliance bootcamp provides a comprehensive training as well as practical experience in this field, right? Because, you know, uh, We've designed the bootcamp, you know, to equip you with the theoretical skills as well as the practical experience, you know, which you would do on a voluntary basis, right? To gain experience, you work on cases, you know, you work on projects, you do a lot of quizzes, and you do, you know, work on a lot of scenario, real life scenarios as well to gain practical experience. You work on projects, you know, that we also get externally as well, right? And yeah, and um to position yourself you know as a compliance professional you know our approach is very practical everything in the um, curriculum is practical from day one you're already having tasks to work on you're having quizzes to work on you know and so on so what are the bootcamp perks right um we've got the virtual life training our classes are life experts led by our seasoned dual qualified facility i mean dual qualified facilitator right so you get virtual life training five weeks of virtual life training you get to work on real life scenarios you get interview preparation we do a lot of mock-up interview preparation and we also have past resources that are already available on the lms that are very resourceful and has been very helpful right in helping people get jobs in this field to be honest on a weekly basis i get nothing like less than three new success stories right from you know 
this um, boot camp on its own, ranging from a wide range of roles. To be honest, today is AML um, specialist, tomorrow is conflict analyst, next tomorrow is CDD analyst, you know, is KYC analyst, compliance analyst, QC analyst, compliance manager, you know, data protection officer, wide range of roles, really. So practical case studies, you know, completion, certificate of completion, access to learning management system, you know, you get access to our post boot camp alumni support as well. You know, you get your CV and LinkedIn optimized, you know, and um, you also get to work on cases as well, you know, and as you can see on the screen as well. So who can take this course? Anyone at all can take the course. Starting from early career beginners, you are you don't have any work experience, you know, you're just done with your BMSC, you're done with your BSc. This is the right start for you. You know, foreign trained lawyers or ex-bankers, you know, you've worked in the um, banking space, you know, you've worked as a relationship manager, you've actually done KYC ML, but in another environment, under another title, you know, you can consider, you know, this to transition. Foreign trained lawyers, you are a legal professional, you are looking for a way to, um, you are new in the UK, you know, you are moving to the UK soon, you are looking for a role that is not too far from where you are coming from. You don't want to do, you know, some kind of jobs, right? And um, yeah, so this is a good alternative career path you can explore because you already have the basis, you already have the transferable skills. A lot of our students, you know, who are also and um, law distinct their law background helps them to get you know compliance related roles in law firms here as well so anyone at all that is seeking a career in kyc compliance in aml in data protection data privacy anti-money laundry can also take the course so what are the competencies you will gain from the boot camp you know in this boot camp you're going to gain you know comprehensive regulatory knowledge you're going to gain knowledge in data privacy and data protection financial sanctions and financial crime kyc and aml gdpr risk assessment and mitigation as well some roles to apply for after the boot camp before we move to the roles we can apply for i was i'm coming back for another activity right because it looks like you know we've gone too quiet again so i would tell what are the what's role interests you the most out of the offerings that i've mentioned so far or maybe i should let's check out the roles you know aml analysts the roles you'll be able to apply for you could apply for aml analyst compliance analyst so this is depending on the previous skills you also have you know some people will decide that you know what i've been more into the data space i want to um, explore the topic i've been more into compliance i'm combining what i've learned now so the compliance experience i want to go more into compliance you know some will be like i, I love the kyc aspect so it depends on your choice, your background, your experience, or what you really want, right? So the jobs you'll be able to apply for, you know, at the end of the bootcamp, AML analyst, compliance analyst, risk analyst, KYC analyst, compliance officer, the list is endless, to be honest. So I would want to ask, which one are you most interested in of all these list of roles I've list, listed? Which would you love to get your next job in? What role would you love to get in your next um, job? To... Thank you, Ibizam. Data protection. That's good to know. So let's use the chat box as well for the rest of you know the members on the call. So it's Ibizam has said um data protection. Jumoke has said compliance analyst. Let's let's have more. Let's have more. Let's have more. Busayo is typing. Who else is typing? So, which of these roles interests you the most? I mean, that's not limiting. You know, the fact that you choose compliance now does not mean that tomorrow, if you get the governance analyst or something or governance manager, you know that you can't take it or something. So, AML analyst from Olasimbo. Busayo, KYC AML analyst. Sarah, compliance risk management. Fantastic. I love the combinations. Let's get it coming. Let's get it coming. So while we're at it, you know, I'm sure you you find it very interesting what we've been engaged in so far. Let's, you know, like I said, let's share the meeting link. Let's share the meeting invite with our friends, with our families, with our groups, our communities, our church group, our mosque group, our school groups, all the groups. I understand that there are lots of groups to join or to be joined. Billy, Sarah, 
AML analyst, ED compliance analyst, or AML investigator. Thank you so much. I love that. I love that. Everybody's still, the only person that is breaking the trend right now is Ibizam, who has chosen data protection. But I mean, that's not, not to worry. You still get to learn everything anyways, regardless of what you say here. Yeah, you are not bound by it. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. So let's um, proceed. So what's the eligibility of this role in for visa sponsorship? Because I get a lot of questions that, okay, will this role, you know, would I be able to get visa sponsorship job? Visa sponsorship, getting visa sponsorship, um, sponsorship is generally very competitive, you know, and all that. You know, but it's also very important to ensure that, you know, the role you are positioning yourself in as a potential should in case, you know, you get an employer that is willing to sponsor. A lot of our um, students, you know, have gotten employers who are willing to sponsor them, maybe after probation or after. You know, but here is it. That's the code 2462-3520 compliance officer for a lot of them that are getting compliance related roles in law firms or legal related they can get sponsored under the code 3520 if you also get it on in any field at all you know you know you, you can also get sponsored as well you know we have um, people that have gotten qc quality control quality manager quality analyst as well so but the thing is i want and i'll say for a lot of people that are really desperate for visa sponsorship is that you know the the strategy is not to wait till you are desperate the strategy is to equip yourself with as much skills as possible to get ready you can't say that you are looking for sponsorship and you are staying where you are you are not making any move you don't even know where the sponsorship will come from in the end you need to make a move you need to position yourself in career paths that have demand for it you know you need to like enhance your skills be unbeatable you know that's strategy that's the way to get you know whatever it is you're looking for either sponsorship either promotions you know or whatever it is that we are aiming for so <clears throat> having said that you know here are a few success stories that we have had from this boot camp you know we've had people learn jobs as compliance analysts in legal firms kyc analysts in london senior account officer kyc aml you know, CDD conflicts analyst with a law firm, compliance roles, two compliance roles, you know, after the boot camp, compliance assistance with a council, you know, um, compliance analyst role in London, KYC analyst role in London, not limited to that, because to be honest, I get a lot of um, success stories from this boot camp alone on a weekly basis. And you can see some are law firms, some are uh, banks, some are councils, some are property companies. I've had some to the insurance, you know, the, the industry that you can get the compliance role is limitless. And this is just a few of the success stories that we have had as well you know here is another success story so here are some job titles some of our alumni have secured after the boot camp we've got kyc analyst compliance manager finance advisor aml investigator senior account officer kyc quality control analyst data protection officer central compliance specialist risk and compliance officer business compliance analyst, transaction monitoring investigator, conflicts analyst, CDD analyst, you know, the list is limitless because this is not even updated. I still got a few yesterday evening. So, um, having said all that, you've heard about the fantastic, you know, fantastic um, career prospects of compliance of kyc of aml of anti-money laundry and all that what's the value of this training with everything we've said you gain five weeks veg life classes expert led access to our lms for up to 12 months a cpd accredited certificate of completion um projects lots of projects you know case studies cases to work on interview prep session you know uk um reference for the projects that you completed you know while working with rky alumni community as well you get to enjoy you know um continuous support in our alumni community for those of you that follow me on instagram you see a post that made early this morning is about you know a monthly webinar we have you know to continue to to bring industry um trend 
you know, what you can do better in your job application. So continuous support, really, just to make sure that our alumni feel that they are not alone. You know, while with them, we're supporting you. A lot of our um, students as well, when they have interviews, you know, we support them as much as we can. We also have a lot of res resources that we've also curated and provided on the LMS to help with interview preparation. We also have live mock interviews during the course of the bootcamp as well. We review JD, we teach how to use AI to, you know, get better at your interviews as well. So, having said that about the value, right? Uh, <clears throat> Arikawa is currently running an end of the year discount that brings the price of the bootcamp to about 60% off or thereabouts, you know, I mean, so, um, our dear about right, so you get to enroll for this bootcamp for just 499 pounds, right? And then you get everything I've said for just 499 pounds, right? You get the classes, you get access to the LMS, you get uh interview prep, you get access, you get a lot of resources, you get CV and LinkedIn done. I know that some people do just LinkedIn optimization. I've seen LinkedIn optimization that goes for just just CV LinkedIn optimization for 300 pounds, CV only 100 pounds. I think that's CV, um, CV only like 150 pounds. That's able to talk less of the main value you're getting, which is even the boot camp itself. But look at you getting all this for just 499 pounds. The fantastic part is that you now even get to pay twice. You can pay twice, meaning that you can make your initial deposit today, right, and pay balance by mid-November or by two weeks after the boots come thereabouts, right? So the classes start November 11. So you get to, you can pay first installments now today. So I'm going to give about five to 10 minutes for us to take our time to secure our slots, right? There's nobody, there's no way that you can see a compliance KYC bootcamp that is well created and well put together like this, the way we have done. I see a lot of KYC standalone bootcamp that are charging 550 pounds. After that, you still pay another extra 150 pounds to get your CV done, right? However, because our first mantra in the UK, I mean, our first mantra is to support people. My real passion actually lies in helping people people not settle for less, you know, because there's a lot of myths or myths that go around about, you know, you are in the UK or you are in a particular location and, you know, you can't actually, your previous experience don't matter, you know, you can't, um, you have to settle for less and all that, which is something that I'm here to make sure that we don't settle for less. We have the leverage, you have the experience to leverage, you know, we have the ability to be whoever it is that we want to be right so um i would give us about you know admin please paste the account details on the chat box to make the links to pay the so let people like secure that their, their slots and also put the um, email address as well in the chat box for people to make you know their deposits so please secure your slots this um discount has been ongoing for a while while we're also trying to do that please drop your questions i'll be taking a break i'm giving this break you know for people to secure their slots as well as and i'm going to also be taking questions so please secure your slots please put the email address also there for people to make um for people to send their receipts to after making the payments so any question you have at all about payments about you know, the boot camp itself, you know, please drop your questions in the chat box while we also allow time for you to secure your slots, you know, for the boot camp. You can take a screenshot, you know, and okay, thank you, Jumoke, for confirming that. <clears throat> So let's take our time to secure our slots. It's just a five weeks boot camp, so so what it means is that you know before this year ends, you can land your desired job. You can share your success story as well. So if we have friends, families, you know who we know benefits from this, they're ex lawyers, you know they're ex bankers, or they're in the UK, they don't know. I mean. They haven't really figured out, you know, 
when is the deadline for the discounts okay so i mean there's the start date of the class is november 11 so we would encourage that you i mean try i mean this month i think is the um deadline for the discounts right but the thing is that we can actually call for the discount to end once we get to our limits right so it's based on the number of slots available so we want you to secure your slots as soon as possible but the start date for the class is november 11. this is the payment info um if you are paying from the united kingdom that's their price in the pounds and if you want to pay in naira you i'm sure you know what the exchange rate is right so you can use the exchange rate to convert 499 pounds to naira i think it's about 1600 or thereabout about at the moment right however if you're a nigerian resident and you are based in nigeria you can send a message to the whatsapp numbers below okay our facilitator is olumide or motolori olumide is a uk qualified solicitor is a dual qualified solicitor is a compliance professional with over 12 years of experience holding top positions you know in renowned international firms like jp morgan chase bnp paribas credit suit and all that you know is heavily qualified as we can see on the screen you know is a chartered governance professional companies this company secretary you know his specialties and area of expertise is the compliance kyc you know mifid financial crime business analysis and the likes i'm sure i mean if you read a lot of success stories in this boot camp you know you'd have seen oh thanks to lumi thanks to lumi here is the almighty wonderful lumi in the house lumi if you are with us we can't wait to meet lumi Hi, all. How are you guys doing? We are very well, thank you. So, um, my name is Olumidio Tolering, and I've been in the compliance space for about 13 years. And uh, I would like to start um, this journey by telling you guys about myself and about my own journey, because I also relocated from, uh, from Nigeria. Um, and... Initially, it was quite difficult for me, um, but after some time, um, I found myself and yeah, figured out how to uh, get into the compliance space. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just currently on a journey, but um, I had some issues today just for you guys to see my face. Yeah. So, um, when I got into the UK, I had... Um, this adventure of having some low-level jobs, and I decided that look, I'm not going to just stay there. That I'm going to make, um, I'm going to add some skills, and I'm going to also upgrade whatever I'm doing. So I rebranded myself as a compliance analyst, and I started applying for jobs. So what I just want to tell you guys today is that no matter what you're going through, or no matter um, how confused you are, or how unsure you are of what's going on. There's always a way out, and at RKY, we're just here to help, to share what we have, and to try and make sure that nobody goes through sort of difficult decisions and positions we had in the in the past. So I'm a qualified solicitor. I'm also studying um, at the International Compliance Association. This is the second diploma I'm doing there. I'm very passionate about uh, financial crime compliance. I believe that Everyone should just help to cut the criminals. I believe everybody should understand what is anti-money laundering, how we can help the police, how to draft suspicious activity reports, how to identify people's source of wealth, source of information. And that now breaks down into the different modules we have. We have KYC module, we have AML module, we have um, data module, and we also have the sanctions module. So that covers most of what you'll be doing in the compliance space. It would be very hard to find someone that knows all this um, because most people specialize in one of them. It's either you are doing AML or you are doing KYC, you are doing sanctions or you are doing GDPR. Sometimes you have compliance rules that cover quite a number of these fields. So, um, yeah. so what we are trying to do here is to make sure that you guys have the right 
information and we're just going to support you. Um, nobody's going to save anybody out here. You have to be the one to do the reading. Um, we have a very robust program here. We have LMS, all the videos, that um, all the lectures are recorded. You also have access to the past recordings that we've had in the past. Um, you know, we also have a community. We have um, our alumni, most of the guys that have gotten jobs, they also come back once in a while to give speeches and also to support. Um, and also we have a WhatsApp group where we share um, information. This is what's going on. These are the questions they're asking me here. They're recruiting here um, and all that. And a lot of the people that have been coming to us that have been successful have, been, have come from all over the place. So some of them have come, a lot of them have come from the care sector. And a lot of them have come from admin jobs, and they just they're just you know tired of, um, of of trying to break in or just tired of doing something that you know you can do better. Nothing every every job is great, but you know you know there are some instances whereby you can challenge yourself to do better. I was when my first job was in Primark, I really hated it because what I was earning then, but um. I'm aiming to earn in a day, you know, so you can just imagine. And what I was earning in 30 days, I'm aiming to earn it in a day. And I'll tell you, I'm not too far from that. But if I decided that I wasn't going to challenge myself and I was just going to be someone ordinary like the rest of them, I still have friends in Primark that refuse to leave. So, you know, today I can look back and say, I think I made the right move, branching out into compliance. It was a bit difficult. Uh, because I didn't have any RKY or something like this to train me. So it's much easier for you guys. It's much easier because we are telling you how we got there. We're also supporting you with all the information you need. A lot of the other training centers, they won't tell you where to get the information from. But here, we are passionate not about just seeing you there, but making sure that you know the right thing. It's also important to know anti-money laundering. It's important to, to make sure that we ourselves are not used by any criminal. So you know money moves and all that. You need to know that these things are criminal. Don't help anybody move any money. There are some other things you learn on the course for your own personal benefit. But I believe we are one society. I believe we should all do our part to stop money laundering and terrorist financing. And you can see that it affects all of us in one way or the other. Now, one interesting thing that RKY said is compliance, especially RK, um, AML and KYC, the, one of the best places in banking. Why? Because every bank has to comply with the rules and regulations. And all you are doing is you are like the policeman in the bank. Okay? So that industry is always a lucrative one whereby you always find a job. It's not like the other ones. You always get a job. And what we are doing here is to help you to identify the skills and just to help you, you know, to do some projects in, in you know, in, in, in a, you know, in a safe environment. So that when you do your project, it gets corrected and, you know, oh, these are the mistakes I made. I didn't find out the source of wealth for this one. I didn't get the uh, list of directors. I forgot this. So I didn't do that. So what we are here to do is to show you what you need to know to be able to get a job and also on your day one, on your job. And even after you've gotten your job, we have a small family here whereby you can go, come back, oh, I'm applying for another job, I've changed my mind, I'm in love with sanctions and all that. So the program is broken down into AML, KYC, uh, GDPR, which is data, and sanctions. AML will tell you how to investigate cases and what are the anomalies you need to identify when you are looking at the client's file. KYC is how to gather information for you to um, provide proper verification that, look, this is what the client does. And that's just how it is. Sanctions is just an area whereby you need to identify who are the connected people that could be evading sanctions here. So you have SDNs, you have um, comprehensive sanctions, you have SDNs on individuals, you have um, sanctions on company levels. Something like all the VTB, all the um, companies that have been sanctioned, all the sector sanctorial sanctions that we have. Um, so you just need to understand those things. If you know the case of BNP Paribas, that they got fined, I think, was almost close to £9 billion just for sanctions. 
So you can imagine, you don't want, we don't want anyone to be in that position where you put your bank in trouble and all that. So you, having that knowledge, will also help you to build your own career and also help you to do your own work properly and be competent. Our mission here in RFK is to make sure that we are rebranding you. We are looking at it from all angles. Okay, we're looking at it from LinkedIn, from your CV, interview preparation sessions, and also knowledge transfers. These knowledge transfers, these modules that we have, are aimed at making sure that once you get into work, you just start working. You know, it's not like, oh, what, what should I do on the first day? No, on the first day, you should know, this is where I'm getting my list of directors from. This is a listed company. This is the requirement for a listed company. This is the requirement for um, a government department. This is the requirement for a charity. This is the requirement for a trust. So our mission is to make sure that you understand, okay, you understand the requirements, you understand um, the laws, because we are going to share with you where the information is all coming from. GMLSG will show you how to apply GMLSG to what you're doing. Okay? So if you're going for an interview in, let's just say, correspondent banking, then you know you have to pick up sector 16 of the sectorial guidance. That's part two of the GMLSG. Okay? If you are going for retail, that's part one. If you are going for trade finance, I think that's part 15. So we are preparing you everything you need to know. The rest, the ball is in your hand. If you want to give us an opportunity to work together to upgrade whatever you're doing at the moment, we're not saying whatever you're doing is bad, but we can add this thing to it, make you a better compliance professional. And our mission is to change your mindset, okay? which is to make sure that these are the ways you should be thinking. Our mission is that everybody that passes through RKY is going to start thinking differently. They are going to start thinking about how they spend their time, how they do their assignments, how they, you know, progress in their career and everything. It's, it's going to be different, and we're just passionate about what we do. So, um, yeah, the fact that you're already here just means that's 50% fact that you're serious to your life and you know what you're about to do. So once you compare us to the other people and you're comfortable and you're ready to give us a chance, this is a permanent journey. Not as if when you finish training, no. We have, uh, it's going to be 24-7. So we have um, groups whereby we still continue knowledge transfer. It's just that you'll be going for classes again. And you're going to have your LMS for a long time. And, you know, throughout the time you'll be looking for a job. It's not going to be totally easy. But I can tell you it's going to be much easier than wherever you look at. Because we are passionate about it and we know what it takes. I've been in the industry, I've worked in several places, I've worked in the largest investment banks, I've worked in some of the largest retail banks as well. So I know what it takes. I love investigating criminals and doing my own bit to prevent money laundering and terrorist financing. So um, that, that's it from me. I'll be your facilitator. I'm fully competent and I'm sure that you guys will enjoy the journey once you jump on the boat with us. Thank you, thank you so much, Lumi. Thank you so much, Lumi. I mean, everything is said really um, more, you know, so that it's that's typically everything is said, you know. It's all about the change of mindset. We are here to help you throughout the journey, you know. We, we are not going to leave you, you know, hanging or, you know, and, you know, within the shortest possible time, you're going to be a completely different person. If you, I mean, I'm sure you can see the screenshots of all the success stories I have here. You can go to our Instagram page to read more on the details, you know, look at the journeys, you know, everyone was in, like, they were all in this kind of meeting at some points and then they'd made that move like Ulubu Sayo has done just now. And some other people who have, you know, who's, who have said they have also made payments as well. That is just the starting point, you know, and, you know, um, the sky is the limit, really. You know, so if you have any more questions, please feel free to drop your questions in the chat box, you know. And so thank you, um, Lumi, once again. Um, do we have any more questions?
how do we get UK job references from you after the training? So we have a process, right? And um, we don't just give out references. You know, references are based off you completing projects and cases that we have, you know, given to you to complete because that is what forms the work experience part. You know, so you get to work on projects that we have, you know, um, gotten from, you know, uh, other affiliate companies that get projects related to this, you know, client onboarding, KYC related projects, you know, so once you complete these projects, right, and we are able to verify that, you know, you get, you know, verifiable reference. Once you get on the other side, you'll be acquainted with our reference policy, you know, which will give you a better idea, you know, of um, how it works. But I mean, you're not going to have any problem. Like I said, I confirm nothing less than, you know, three new um, this thing on a daily basis. So do we have any, do we have any more questions? I can see some people are typing. So just like just like um, Lumi has said, you know, we are professionals. Myself, I'm a banker. I'm still a banker. Um, um, I've been in bank industry all my life. I've been exposed to KYC, AML, anti money laundering, you know, and all that as well. You know, so there's there's maximum support. We are not being led by people that don't know what they are doing. You know, if you check all our success stories, you see from you know, I'm not only an expert in like KYC ML itself. I'm also a career coach. I'm a career strategist. I've helped people, you know, to get jobs in KYC AML and even beyond projects management, business analysis. We have trainings across all these other areas as well. You know, so if you have friends and family who are interested, you know, not in KYC particularly or compliance, you know, who are interested in transitioning to other career paths that are fulfilling and all that, you know, RKY is their best bet, you know, for this as well. Do you post job opportunities on your website? Yes, we post visa sponsorship opportunities on our website. That's for jobs that have been advertised that are offering visa sponsorship. However, if it's as it relates to you, we have a visa sponsorship dedicated job board, right? But that's only for jobs that have been advertised that are offering sponsorship. But I bet you that there are thousands of jobs that are not advertised daily that are offering sponsorship to people on a daily um, basis. So um but yeah on the alumni community will still continue to share your opportunities you know we've got a telegram um platform as well that brings together all our compliance um classes i mean alumni and you know continue to provide them with extra support you know as well so I want to believe we've successfully answered all the questions that you have today. I'm looking forward to having all of you on this call on the other side when we start the boot camp in um, in November. So what you will learn, you will learn KYC and AML. I believe you are still seeing my screen. Can I assume or should I confirm? Please confirm if you can still see my screen, people. Yes, we can see it. Thank you, Jim. Okay. So what will you learn in the boot camp? You learn KYC and AML, financial sanctions, GDPR, you know, data protection, you know, and you would also have sessions for interview prep. For those who just joined, you know, we are actually running an end of the year discount that brings the the boot camp to up to 60% off, you know, at 499 pounds. We are not going to get this in 2024. 2024 is going to be another game entirely. So let's take advantage. Even less, this can be your own way of slaying your bed, you know, to start 2024, you know, in a very smooth and grand style. You know, how about getting into 2024 with your desired, you know, job? So, I mean, these are the account details. I think we've shared this exciting news as well. We also have an upcoming event for those of you that are based in Birmingham or in the West Midlands. You know, this is also part of the things that you also get to enjoy as part of the RKY family. You know, we don't just provide support to, you know, people... We don't just provide support, you know, virtually and all that. We also host, you know, events, you know, the maiden edition. We're coming to Birmingham next year. We might be in, I mean, we might be in London. It might be Manchester, you know, because we want to connect. You know, like I said at the beginning, I love to connect. I love to network. I love to meet people. I've done this virtually, you know, with a love with over, I mean, with thousands of people, to be honest, in the last 
you know, 12 since COVID, right? But now it's time for us to step out. Let's meet face to face. Let's connect. If you can travel, you don't need to be based, right? in Birmingham or West Midlands. If you can travel, let's meet up. Let's meet face-to-face -face in Birmingham, November 18th, right? Book your tickets. It's just going for £7 only. I'm sure that you know that, you know, other tech um, events, you know, or networking events, you know, actually cost more. But this is more like a CSR for RKY. The reason why we are charging is just to ensure that we have serious-minded people who would not just book and secure and lock up spaces, but who would be physically on there you get a lot of refreshments love takeaways love souvenirs merch and all that and you also get to meet with you know hr professionals career coaches um, lumi who you have just spoken to as well just now would also be speaking at the events you know so you get an opportunity to meet face to face get that advice so yeah i'm looking forward to connecting um admin please paste the events link for people to also book their spaces and slots i really can't wait to can connect you know with you guys on a face-to-face -face basis you know to meet with you so i think um that's about it what we'll be speaking about that day is not limited to compliance it's not limited to projects management it's not limited to tech it's all about everything navigating the uk job market so if in case you are not able to even like you know join this cohort we can still meet up in november you know come one come all invite your friends and family share the links that has been shared in the chat box with your friends and family let's connect i mean rky is a is um, what we are doing right we are making history together this is us we are um immigrants we were not born here but we're actually you know um what are we doing we're creating milestones right i mean we're creating history we are doing what our predecessors did not do let's do this together let's meet up you know let's all succeed together so if you've just joined this meeting or you joined late and you want to watch you know the recording you'll get the recording on our youtube channel but you don't need to wait till when it's up you know before you subscribe subscribe to our youtube channel to get notified when we put up this video and other useful videos you know that would um that would benefit you as well so at this point I don't know, I'll just try to see if there are more questions to take. Do you come to the northeast? Where is the northeast? North east north northeast UK or northeast where? And where is northeast? Yeah, see they're typing. You can unmute yourself though, if that's faster. But yes, like I said, we're starting from Birmingham. Okay, Newcastle and the rest. At the moment, we are planning to come. I think Newcastle is not so far from Birmingham. So buy your tickets and let's see in um, Birmingham for now. You know, we can't really say exactly where we'll be next one. I'm sure that there's going to be a London one next year, 2024, by God's grace. But what we have that has a date, that has a location and venue, that has a time at the moment, is the Birmingham event. I'm traveling myself. I'm based in London. I'm not based in Birmingham. So if I can travel, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you there face to face as well. So, um, so um, Ibizam, we don't have Newcastle at the moment, you know, but definitely, you know, and let me tell you the interesting parts, you know, this event as a whole is being planned, you know, by the alumni community. That's why I say we are a family, right? We operate as a family. I don't know how other boot camps or other, other uh, I don't know how other places are run, but the way we run here, we are a family, especially if you, tr it's only when you treat people well as well, you know, that you would also, you know, get the support where you need it. We are a family here. We support each other. We come in to help each other other people who have gotten jobs still come back in you know to give back because even people that are still in the job markets they don't stop their referrals because they know the experience that they got was 100 over 100 percent you get know, lots of referrals and you know there's nothing that speaks better than when people you know i'm sure that each and every one of you here have been referred by someone you know if i wanted to test it if i ask if you referred if you were referred by someone here or to this boot camp or you heard about it through someone or heard about rky originally through someone drop it high in the chat box
Okay, I see typings. So that's how it works, you know. If you get a wonderful experience, you will refer people to. And that's why we can't wait to give you that wonderful experience, to add you to the community, to add you to the family as well. I was here and um, I was referred by a friend who just switched role to compliance. Your boot camp really helped. Thank you, Eddie, for that as well. So he, there you have it, you know. I mean, nothing speaks, nothing advertises or speaks louder than when, you know, third party, you know, talk about when you are not even there, you know, or when your representatives are not there. So that's it, guys. It's been really great having every one of you. It's been a very interactive mm -hmm. class. In fact, I feel like I know you guys personally already. I feel like I know Ibizam. I feel like I know Eddie Olubusai. And I can't wait, you know, to meet you at the other side when we start the boot camp by when we start the boot, boot camp right by um november 11th right in the absence of any other question i see someone typing but in the absence <laughs> we haven't seen your face i think you've seen lumi's face don't worry you see my face <laughs> you know um, in the absence of any other question, let's all have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I can't wait to see you come November 11th. And I promise you're going to see my face on that day. 